Hey everyone, welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to be showing you guys my process in making my artwork called What You Catch? A Pumpkin. Here you can see I'm doing my sketch. As I'm sketching, I'm looking at a free reference. I believe it's from pixels.com. It's a great website if you guys want to see free stuff that you guys can use as references. Not everything is free from there, but there's a lot of great free options. So here I'm sketching the little hat and I'll be right back with you. I'm gonna speed this process up a little bit because if not, it's gonna take a really good amount of time. So at this point, I'm adding a pumpkin. This was not on the reference. It's just an idea I came up with. So that's what you guys will be seeing here. Just wanted to let you guys know I'm not using the free reference exactly. I'm going to be adding some things and doing some things different. I'd also like to mention that what I'm using to make this sketch is an Artex colored pencil. At this moment, I'm opening up a Mr. Pen Eraser to lighten up my sketch. I don't know if this eraser was made with colored pencils in mind, but it did a pretty good job at lightening up my sketch. Now I'm looking at my hand and using it as a reference. I'm lighting up my sketch a little bit more and erasing the parts I don't want visible later on. Also, I hope you guys are enjoying all the music in this video. All of it was made using the app GarageBand and I hope you guys like it. I've been playing around with the app and I really like how you can make your own music using the different sounds they have. With that being said, here's some more of the music I made. After some time sketching and cleaning up my sketch, it's time to go over with a fine line drawing pen from Ohuhu. Once opening the pack, I looked at all the different options. B brush, 0.05, 0 0.1, 0 0.2, 0 0.3, 0 0.5, 0 0.7, 10. Many options to choose from, which is very nice. So I looked at my sketch and I thought about what I thought would be a good fit. Ultimately looking at it, I decided I wanted one that was not too small, like not too thin, but also not too thick. So I decided to go with that one, the 0 0.5, 0 0.45 mm one. And got to overlining.
So now that I've spent some time outlining, it is now time to choose my colors. I'm going to be looking through my Ohuhu art markers and my Artix Oro sketch markers. As I'm looking through my colors, I'm going to be looking at the reference and swatching out the colors to see which ones I think look best and which ones match the reference or it's just colors I think I may like to use. This being the first time I've used these Ohuhu markers, I saw this really pretty color and I wanted to try it out just for funsies and look how pretty that is. So pretty. Anyways, continuing. So now I have finished swatching and you guys can tell I added the little fishing thing that people have to turn because I forgot to add that but now it's added and we are ready to start coloring it in starting with the water. Now I will start coloring in the sky. Moving on, I am going to use a brownish color where I think the shadows are. So I'm going to try out one of the colors, but then I see that another color will look better. up using this brownish gray to indicate where the shadows are and wherever I see this color I'm looking at my reference to help Now that I've done that, I'm going to go in with this darker, kind of more saturated color. Yeah, I think it's more saturated. And we're kind of going over those shadows. And I think this looks pretty good and similar to the reference. Now I'm going to use this color for the skin tone. As I'm doing the skin tone, I'm going to be leaving some blank space to indicate the highlights.
I'm gonna go in with this brown color and we're gonna use that on the hat. So I ended up using that color also for like the smile line. And now we're gonna go in with a lighter shade of like that brown, warm gray and try to blend things out. At this point, I'm trying to add some more details to the hat. Now looking at my artwork, I decided that I'm going to go over the water and the sky and try to refine it. Moving on to the fence, I'm going to be filling in those areas where the water is going to be showing. Next up is the fishing pole. In the reference, I saw that there was more to the fishing pole, so I got out my fine liner and decided to add that. Now that that's done, we're going to continue on filling in that fishing pole. During that, I got a few other colors and added that to the fishing pole and I did the other man's fishing pole. Now I'm going to use this color and work on this coat. Now using a darker color, I'm going to do the shadows. During that process, I also fixed one of the sleeves and I added some fine liner to it. I'm going back to this color now, this dark gray, and we're going to fill in the jacket, still working on shadows. I added a little bit of that to the fishing pole, and now I'm going to use a lighter gray to work on the rest of the coat. going back to the dark gray for some point in the coat but now that that's finished I'm adding the lighter gray also to this hat to make it match a little more now that I've done that I'm gonna start working on this other man's coat
I'm gonna go in and refine the other man's coat and hat. Now I'm gonna color in the pumpkin. I finished coloring in the pumpkin and I did the wooden floors and now I'm finishing up the fence. Now that I'm done with that, I'm going to use these Ofuhu gel ink pens. I'm going to be using one of each color. At first, although I do not have the footage, I used the gray gel pen for the coats and the hat. Now I'm going in with the white gel pen and doing any highlights I see I can do. Next up is this yellowish goldish gel pen and I'm going to use it in any areas that I think it look nice at. Now that I'm done with that, I'm going to show you guys this close up so you guys can see the gel a little better and just a close-up of the artwork there's a man he's happy he's seemingly going out to reach the pumpkin the other man's surprised he caught a pumpkin and that's almost all of it now i'm gonna sign my name put it to date and we're gonna be done almost there And I'm done. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Have a lovely day. God bless you. Thanks for watching. Bye.